Oriental France. He must have been one of the biggest heavyweights mm -hmm. of today. Not a large number of heavyweights. I think there was, what, 11 athletes, wasn't there, in total? So roughly about 11, no, yeah. is it less? No, eight. Eight competitors. Eight. So in the smallest weight category. And we've most probably got one of the smallest referees out there is our yes, Elaine Downs. Elaine Down. Uh, international referee, one of only a few women that are actually of that level that um, mm -hmm. represent Great Britain, which is nice to see. Again, when we were talking yeah. earlier about women's involvement in judo, um, Elaine, again, is a, a, a great ambassador for that, that she, she, she referees at a very high level and being a woman. And mm -hmm. obviously, to, to be a, a referee is very hard now with the qualifications. Plus, they don't need as many referees anymore because no. there's only one referee out on the mat at the same time. So the pool of referees that they need on these international events are a lot smaller. In fact, I would imagine they've halved. So, um, I was expecting to see Helen Davies as well here. I didn't see her. Yes, uh, and Helen I've seen on a couple of internationals yeah. that have been, and she's doing real, she's, uh, she's a little bit of a junior, yeah. but she's coming through, she's isn't she? Up, isn't she? It was, I think it was at the beginning of um, this year I saw her at a, a, a European, I don't know whether it was Bulgaria or mm -hmm. somewhere like that, that I saw her in one of the European Cups. And obviously we had Marion Woodard as well many, many years yeah. ago. And she was one of even a fewer pool of women that were yes. refereeing internationally. And she also was one on the commission of the EJU at mm -hmm. one stage. Um, a lot of experience there in the past. And I must admit, as an athlete and a coach, and it wasn't something that it was inspired me to do as a referee. Not. I, I, I Definitely find not. it. I admire referees that go out there. I don't think they've, I think they've got a thankless job at times. Uh, if they get it right, exactly. so they should. If they get it wrong, well, they surely the let you know they're enemy, correct. They? So it's very nerve wracking to be in that position. They mm -hmm. really do hold the key mm -hmm. to bringing this all together. And they're very, they're sort of, they're not valued enough, I don't think. I really don't, I, be, I totally believe that the referees are not valued as much as they should be. Because let's face it, without referees, we don't have tournaments. Yeah. As well as the other officials that support the referees as That's well. Yeah. We have so these competitions just would not survive with the amount of volunteers mm -hmm. that it takes and people giving up their time for the love of the sport. And even these youngsters, I know it's a very inspiring thing for them to be doing and rubbing shoulder with world-class athletes, but they've been great. They've been really supportive, and uh, congratulations. Ooh. Oh, yes, that's a fantastic finish there for the Austrian. Kind of just lent on him, didn't it? That's he? it. It was the sticky <laughs> foot. The foot sticky again. foot lean. Yeah, she was See, a, she was It was there. He kept his balance, and for a big guy to keep his balance mm -hmm. on one leg and control a bigger guy, then that was a, a real skill on its own. Looks a little bit like Peter Seisenbacher. <laughs> Wow, that's one picture. A win and a bronze medal to Nadia Karatova from Austria. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alastofa. Daniel takes the bronze medal in the men's plus 100s. That's the first one, and we're coming up to the second bronze medal. But um, fantastic, and we were looking on the official webpage, and this may be something to check out. What a baby face that man has, a lovely cutie. A face any mother would love.
again, nicely controlled as you see the grip of both sides of the jacket, drawing his opponent flat on his back. 